Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Stinkfly from Ben 10. Now we get started at the very top of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left of center and draw it in a circle. We're going to start from the very top and just carefully work our way around back towards the top. Now I'm going to leave a small gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So there's a line at the top of the circle, come down to the same height and then back up to the top. Now at the top of each, I'm going to draw a curve. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve up towards the top of the head in the center and then back down on the right side. We're going to add a little detail in the center of the head. So in the middle, we're going to step down, start with a point. From this point, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the center, we're going to go up and out towards the right. Now I'm just going to trim this out along the bottom. So we step down, curve down and in towards the middle back up on the right. Let's add the antennas. So we start on the left side, we're going to curve up and out towards the left and go to the right side and do the same thing. From the top I just want to come down and then pull it in. So we're going to leave a little gap along the inside. Now I'm going to follow that curve all the way back down towards the top of the head. Now we're going to go in and fill the antennas in black. Now let's draw on the side of the head. So at the bottom of the eye, we're going to move over towards the left, come down, and then pull it in towards the chin. Do the same thing on the right. Let's connect the bottom with a slight curve, coming down and then back up. Now we're going to add the trim around the mouth. So in between the eyes, I'm going to draw a short line, leaving a gap on either side. On the left side, I'm going to curve down and around the eye towards the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to curve down towards the chin, again, leaving some space along the bottom. And then we're going to connect the bottoms with a curve going up and then back down. We're going to step up and just draw the mouth. So it's just a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now let's move down and draw on the neck. So from the bottom corner of the chin, we're going to step in, come down and pull it out toward the left. We'll do the same thing on the right. From here we're going to draw two angled lines coming down towards the center. Now let's add a trim on the inside. So from the outside of the neck on the left, we're going to step in, come down and pull that out. From the side corner of the neck, we're going to draw on the upper shoulder. So let's start on the left side. We're going to angle down and out with a short line on either side. Now we're just going to curve the top of the shoulder going out, going up and then back down. Let's connect the outside of the shoulder towards the center of the neck with a curve going across and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. At the base of the neck, we're going to draw two ovals sort of angled in. Starting on the left, draw a small oval and we'll fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's step down in the center and draw in a circle. We're going to leave a small gap. Step down, draw in that circle. Now we're going to add in the symbol. In the middle here, we're going to step in and draw two points. One right beside each other. From the left, we're going to angle up and out. And then on the right, we'll angle up and out. And now at the bottom, we're going to go in the opposite direction. Now we're going to fill those side areas in black. Now we're going to move to the outside and draw on the side of the chest. So stepping out here, we curve down and we'll pull that in. We'll do the opposite on the right. So stepping out, curve down and then pull that in. From here, we're going to angle down and in towards the hip, starting on the left and then on the right. Now we can add the trim around the chest. So at the base of the neck here, we're going to angle down and out, leaving a space beside the chest. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve along the bottom towards the inside. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve going up in the middle 
and then back down. Now I want to draw a straight line coming down in behind the symbol. Starting from the neck, we'll come down and continue along the bottom. Let's add the trim around the stomach. So just below the chest, we're going to draw a curve from left to right going up and then down. We're going to come down in an angle. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's continue working down with the legs. So in the center, we're going to step down, draw a short line going across the middle. On the left side, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down towards the ankle. Coming out towards the left. Go back up to the top on the right, angle down and out towards the right. Let's round out the ankle. From the inside, we're going to curve up and then back down on the left and then on the right. Now I'm going to connect the outside towards the hip with a straight line. So we're going to start at the left hip, come down and then out. Now let's add in the feet. From the bottom inside corner of the ankle, we're going to curve in and then down. Now I'm going to curve the bottom of the foot going towards the first claw. We're going to go up and then we'll pull that down. From this point, I'm going to taper this up, going up. I'm just going to angle in with a short line and we're going to continue that curve going up. Now let's curve the second claw. We're going to go over and then down. We're going to taper this up again, going up. Draw a short angle line coming in. And I'm going to connect that point towards the outside of the ankle with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the inside corner of the ankle, curve down and then in. And then from here, we're going to curve up and then down towards the first claw. And I'm going to take this back up, going up with a short curve. And I'm going to angle this down and then in. Let's continue that curve going up. Now let's draw the second claw. Curve out and then down. We're going to taper this up again. Come down with a short angle. Now we're going to go all the way up towards the outside of the ankle. Now let's go ahead and fill the feet in black. Let's go in and add some detail to the legs. So I'm going to start just along the shin area. From the left side, I'm going to curve up and then back down on both sides. Now we're going to move up and draw two angled lines. On the left side, we'll come down towards the inside of the leg and then up on the right side. We're going to step down and draw a curve going up and then back down. We're going to add one more strip along the top of the leg. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and in. We're going to step down and draw that same curve. Now we're going to take that and flip it over on the right side. Let's add a couple spikes along the side of the leg. We're going to start just below the knee area with a straight line going out. And we'll angle that down and in. We're going to draw that one more time. We're going to step down, straight line going out, angle down and in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. I'm going to start with the inside edge of the arm. So about halfway along the chest, we're going to angle down and out towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right side to the same height. Now on the left side, I'm just going to draw the forearm with a short angle line coming in. Now we're going to curve it out and then down towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's move back up towards the shoulder and draw on the outside of the arm. Start on the shoulder here, we're going to curve out and we're going to pull this in towards the elbow area. From here we're going to curve out again and then pull that in towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the shoulder, curve out, in towards the elbow, curve out again, and then in towards the wrist. Back on the left side, we're going to draw on the hand. So we're going to start with the thumb first with an angle line coming down and in. We're going to hook down and 
out towards the tip of the thumb. Now from here, I'm gonna curve it up, so tapering up towards the inside of the hand. From here, we're gonna come straight down. Now we're gonna curve in and down the first finger. Now I'm gonna taper this back up, curving out. And then we're gonna go straight up to right about there. Let's layer the second finger in behind. From this knuckle, we're gonna step up, draw a straight line going out, curving in towards the wrist, coming up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting with the thumb with an angled line. Now we're gonna curve down and then out. Now we're gonna taper this back up towards the inside of the hand. Now let's draw that straight line coming down the first finger. And then we'll curve down and then in. Then we'll taper this back out, going out and then straight up. Now from that knuckle, we're gonna step up, draw a straight line going across. We'll curve out and then back in towards the wrist. We're gonna add some stripes along the fingers. So on this thumb, we're gonna draw one angled line, step down and draw the second one. On the index finger, we'll do the same thing. Two lines going side by side. And then on the second finger, we'll do the same thing. Let's do the same on the right. Starting from the inside, curve down, move up. Now on the first finger, we'll draw two lines, one above the other, and then the same on the second finger. Now we're gonna add some detail to the side of the chest. On the side of the chest here, we're gonna draw a short angle line going out on both sides. And then from the top of the chest, we're gonna start by going straight out. Now we're gonna curve down and then in towards the inside of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by going out, and curving down, and then in. Now that we've drawn the body, let's go to the back and draw in the large wings. We start at the base of the neck on the left side. We're gonna curve up, and then out towards the left. Go to the right side and do the same thing. So we can go up and out to the same height. From the tip, I just want to taper this back in behind the body. So it's going to get a little bit wider as we come in. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's go ahead and fill these in black. Now going back to the side, we're gonna draw on the outside of the wing. We're gonna start from the tip, we're gonna angle down and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming in at an angle towards the inside. Now back on the left, we're gonna draw almost like a circle going around and then back up. So we're gonna curve in. Now I'm just gonna pull this back up on the left side. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming in and then back up. Now we're gonna take these ends and draw another angle line coming down and in. And then from here, we're gonna draw a larger circle going around and then back out. Come in towards the body, and we're gonna pull that out. Now from the ends, I just wanna curve down and in, just to the outside of the hand. And then we're gonna pull this up in behind the arm and the body. So starting on the left, we'll curve in, in behind the arm, and we'll go up towards the hip. From this point, I want to taper in behind the body. So we start at the point, just go a little bit wider as we come down. Now we're gonna go across in behind the arm, and then in behind the body. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's go in and fill those in black. Now 
Now the final thing we're gonna do is add some lines inside the wing. So we're gonna start on the left side. On the inside of this circle, we're gonna go up with an angle. We'll do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna just balance this out as we go. Now we're gonna come down and in. And we're gonna pull this back up towards the edge of the wing. At the bottom of the circle, we're gonna come down and in with another line. And then we're gonna pull this up underneath the edge of the wing with a straight angled line. Now we're gonna to go to the inside of the bottom circle here, draw a short angled line going in. We're gonna go straight up. Now we're gonna pull this in towards the edge of the wing, going up. From this point, we're gonna step down and just draw an angle line going in behind the arm towards the body. We're gonna go up with a slight angle. And we'll do the same thing on the right, starting on the inside. Now at the bottom of the circle, we're gonna angle down and in. And we're gonna go up in behind the arm. And then we're gonna go straight across in behind the body. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Stingfly from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.